your slumber. Amazed in a daze by the sounds of the horn and its thunder, you are naked. Dirt covering your eyes, just like the seed from a tree, you have come back alive. You can taste the contents of your soul as they are passed in through your nose, filling your body whole like poison. Behold, crowds start rushing towards the caller without any delay. The disbelievers will say, today is a hard day. But did they not see this coming? Did no warner come their way? What was the world they lived in but mere sex? Seconds of play, they are running, pushing their way, wave after wave. The slogan of today is Nuffsy, Nuffsy, move, get out of my way. You are scared as you watch the hair of little children turning gray, pregnant women dropping their loads with no remorse for where they came, filled with rage and dismay. Everybody's in a drunken state without a sip of alcohol, but they still all look the same. Every class, every culture, every skin tone, every race, barefoot, naked, and uncircumcised, just like the way they came. But how can this be? Mountains no longer peak. The earth now flat. Nations humble to their knees. You start to cry until all your tears are gone. Then you will cry blood as you stare up into the sun. It is so close. Feels like just a mile away. The agony and pain, but it's too late for you to pray. You are sweating so much that it covers your entire face. Feels like you are drowning in your sins as the heat burns away. Reality has made its way. Today is that day. Damn the devil and his ways, for surely he did lead astray. Your soul begins to quiver as you watch dictators turn to splinters. The arrogant of this world looking like ants in the winter. A terrifying darkness surrounds former oppressors. The banner of betrayers waving high in succession. They took no heed of these lessons. They paid him no mind, turned away from his signs. So Allah rose them blind, walking on their faces, shackles seizing them in rows. Their faces will be blackened, but this is the path that they chose. You hear them say, if if only we would flee and return to our lives indeed. We would have been amongst those righteous ones who believed. But Allah knows the lies they speak. They would still return to the heat. Their closest friends will be their enemies joining them in their defeat. We will bear our own burdens on the day the world's complete. Your own mother stops to plead. Please give me some deeds. Your own father will flee. Please move from me. You will cut off every branch from your entire family tree every single piece until the moment that was guaranteed when the scales will be set and the book of all your deeds will be retrieved for you to see indeed ready to receive the results of your plea the day of judgment shall now proceed <laughs> Then, when there comes a deafening cry, that day a man shall flee from his own brother, and from his mother and father, and from his wife and his children. Every man that day will have enough concerns of his own to make him careless of others. Some faces that day will be bright, laughing, rejoicing at the good news, and other faces that day 
will be stained with dust. Darkness will cover them. Such will be the disbelievers and the wicked evildoers. Every nursing mother will forget about her child. Pregnant women will miscarry out of shock and distress. And even the young child, the baby who never even committed a single sin, will grow gray hairs from the stress and panic of that day. The things you loved most, the people you love most, will mean nothing. And the phrase, nafsi, nafsi, myself, myself, will become the bitter slogan of the day. The the sun will be brought down so close that it will seem like it is dangling over your head just a mile away and this will be their state and the people will remain in this situation for as long as a law wills patiently waiting for the judgment to begin.